Hello again. My name is Renata Zvezdeva from iTechnology and in this video I'd like to show you how to use iTechnology Forms Accelerator Designer to modify SharePoint forms. For this demonstration we need SharePoint list integrated with iTechnology Forms Accelerator. I will use the list created for the previous demonstration Hello World. For those of you who haven't seen Hello World video yet, I would recommend you to start from there since it describes the basics of how to use the ITFA. Now open our Hello World list and load the designer. As you can see, the initial screen is lightly changed from the previous video. Instead of create new form link, here we can see modify form. The reason for this is that we already have a form created and now are going to modify only it. Ok, let's select our form to be in basic mode. As you can see, once we change the mode to a higher level, starter is no more available and we cannot roll back to it. Click OK and here are our three perspectives loaded. I'm going to change our Hello World form to something more useful, like Simple Event Planner. For an event planner we need to have Summary, Type of Event, Status, Description, Start and End Date and Location fields. These fields will create in Data Model. Data Model can be considered as Designer's Field Repository. To create a field, click on Add Data Element drop-down menu and select the type of element you want to add. Then change the name of the field and click on Enter. That's all. Let me create the other fields. Note that I didn't create Summary field on purpose. Now let's start modifying our perspectives. We'll begin with New. Open it for editing. Here we can see our one colon section 1 and title field created from previous tutorial. Let's change them. Click on Properties to open Properties window and then select the section. Here you have different settings available like changing caption position of the field, choose if the perspective can have caption or not, make the entire section read only, etc. etc. All of these are described in details in the help file. Now we're going to change the caption of this section. We will call it details. Then select title and change it to summary. This will be our summary field. And let's add the other fields as well. First is event type. It will be a drop down menu with few options. Staff meeting, company party and team building. Then is status. Again a drop down menu. Planning and progress. Now add description, it will be multiple rich text box field and dates. Then is location, again multi-line but plain text. So all fields are now added in our new form, so let's move to the next. Click on switch object button and select to open desktop. Now open the view for editing. Add all fields again, but this time make details section read only. Done. And next is edit. In edit we will leave just status available for modifications. So add the fields. For each field select to be read only from its properties except for status. For status, add the same options in drop-down list, planning and in progress. 
Plus one more. Finished. Okay, we're done. Save and publish the form and let's check what we have. Select the create new element and here's our new form loaded. Type for summary 2009 New Year Party. Select Company Party for event type and Planning for status. In description, put our big New Year Party. Make it red and bold. Date will be December 28th from 6 p.m. to December 30th, 11 p.m. Quite a big party, huh? Location. Well, let it be the Philippines. And click on save. Here's our first event. 2009 New Year's party. Let's open and see it in view mode. That's good. All fields are read only. And edit it, assuming that the party is now finished. So for status we'll select finish and save it. Easy isn't it? Well, see you again in the next tutorial.